week's episode. This week was super fun because we went down to Palm Desert um, in Palm Springs to visit our grandma on our mom's side, which we call Mama Joy. Eight, almost 89. Yeah, she's 88 years old, almost 89. And it was so fun. Like, you never know what the Lord's just going to bring in your path. And, like, had we not been down here to L.A., we may not have gotten a whole week with her, which was one of the best weeks we've ever spent with Mama Joy. It was so wonderful. It was great, yeah. Caroline, Chloe, and I, we stayed in Mama Joy's trailer. And every night, she it would be like 1030, and she'd come over, and she'd be like, all right, story time, girls. And so she just she told us all about how her and Papa Jean met, and their dating, and their family, and how they both grew up. And... All it the details was and so everything. much fun. Every night we were like, we should really be going to bed. It's like 1130. <laughs> but it was so good hearing from her and hearing all the stories. And she has so much good information. And she's really just a wealth of wisdom. And so it was so much fun. Yeah. We enjoyed that time with her. Everybody else was staying over at another trailer at a neighboring resort that was really close by. And Mom Joy had bikes. So they would bike in between. Yeah. Or we would use her golf cart to get in between those two resorts. Um, everything down in Palm Desert is so hot. In the summer, it's like scorching and so there's pools everywhere salt there's water like pools 12 salt water pools and i'm pretty sure all of our hair turned a little more the green. kids lived in the pool like we all got a little five sunburned. or six hours a day but it was a really really so, fun time yeah. well done pickleball yes. courts that they just put in and it was so much fun to play that. to an art museum and it was super fun there was lots of glass galactic pieces of art that were blue and the... really cool so that was super fun and then that same day we went to a street market that night later in the evening and that was great we had some great super burgers. good hamburgers mm, they were so good really good and then there was a lot of cool things at that street fair experience okay those people challenge the bar that know how to get you to spend money because there's like a hundred dollar prize whatever and they were like if you hang from this bar and they shorten the time it was only a minute 30 for girls two minutes for guys and they're like if you hang from this bar you get a hundred bucks and if you lose you're twenty dollars in the hole because that's what it like costs, costs to enter dinner. so I was like oh I'll try it like I'll never know if I can like do it or not unless I try it so I made it to 50 seconds. I was supposed to make it to a minute 30, so I wasn't even like close, which is kind of depressing. The bar pivots, okay? Yeah. It spins the around in a pivots. circle. It's so. on like ball bearings. And, and I'm so. pretty sure they grease the thing before they put people up there. Yeah. So down there in one of the trailers, also in the park, Mom Joy has three trailers, and we were in two of them, and then in the third one was her sister, her older sister, who's 91, and that's our great aunt, Wanda. 
and Uncle Lee. Uncle Lee. He's 86. Yeah. They got burned out. They lived in Paradise Valley. They got that big fire that swept through there was a miracle they escaped anyway. And it was really fun to talk to Aunt Wanda. We typically don't get a lot of time with her either, so that was yeah. super fun. She can type 100 words per minute on a non-electric typewriter back in the day. Yeah, like the so, old ones that you had to like push down. She's a really down. heavy typer. That yeah, she was an amazing typist. and everything. She's really amazing. She has a great memory too. She all knows our names, yeah. our ages, what we like to do, our hobbies. And uh, yeah, great memory. One thing we really love about being homeschooled and our parents homeschooling us is that we could take school wherever. So we took our school down to Palm Springs. All the younger kids went to one of the clubhouses where my mom homeschooled them. During the day, my dad went to a coffee shop and was doing work because it was still midweek. Um, one of the days, Daddy and I went to Temecula to do some sales calls to different wineries for ceramic decorating. And that was super fun to get to be with him and get to experience kind of what he does on a more day-to-day -day basis. Chloe's doing that right now. Yeah, Chloe's on a sales call with our dad right now and that's why you're stuck with us talking. <laughs> our parents were <laughs> preoccupied, so I'm like, yeah, you're gonna have to suffer through this one with us. We'll take one for the team. So another one of the days when we were down there, Mama Joy wanted to take us, and really my mother wanted to take us, to the Children's Museum. And Kimberly and I both went when we were like, what? Five and six. Much younger, younger. Much, much younger. And so we had a lot of fond memories there, and it was so much fun to go back and be able to see it through fresh eyes with like all the little kids being like just so elated. Yeah, and there's so really to hard puzzles there, like. Yeah. I was not expecting that. I was like, this is a kid's museum. Like, everything's like midgy and like you're painting on your hand and there's craft sections. And I've never felt so <laughs> dumb though. Like, their, their things were They're so hard. hard. I sat there forever trying to figure these things yeah. out. But and the ones you, you got, couldn't. you felt so accomplished. Felt very accomplished. Like, yeah. it just fit. And you're like, yes! Are we being doctors, guys? Yes. <laughs> 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 Children's Museum, and she is shopping for a big thing. <laughs> in Fullerton, where my mother grew up, we went, and uh, the house that she grew up in, they remodeled it and everything, and my uncle Craig now owns it. Um, and so they had a potluck there for all the family. Hey guys, where are we, Chloe? Fullerton. Fullerton. And what are we doing? Visiting um, my aunt. Like having a mini family dinner. reunion. A little mini family reunion. How many good memories? Sorry. Good times, good times. Oh, just, just go in. They're right there. Go in, guys. Go in. Hey, there. Hey, there, buddy. Hey, Craig. Hey, Yeah, hey. Good to see you. Yeah. Hey. 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 That's when the house came. Yeah. And the siblings, I think there was four or five siblings there out of the 12. It was Mama Joy, Uncle Craig, who owns the house, and Aunt Debbie. And then there was Uncle Rick, and then my Uncle Kurt, who lives in Fullerton. We don't see him much. That was awesome. And then my mom, and then Aunt Jolinda. Brought a potluck, everybody brought something, and it was a phenomenal night. Look at this. Uncle Rick is piggy now. Give me oh, this bag. <laughs> it's lettuce. It's mostly lettuce. <laughs> There's Mama Joy. She's not running from the camera because she looks good. <laughs> She's got to look good if we're going to film her. <laughs> Josephine's like, oh boy. Hey.
night and now we're back at the plant back in the shop packing boxes in school and working back at the grind so that was so much fun though we enjoyed our week so much down in palm springs with mama joy we just want to give a big shout out to her and say thank you so much for yes. your hospitality Great and letting hospitality. us stay she's such a joyful giver and she loves i mean she would do our dishes every single day three meals a day and she was just like leave the dishes for me don't do them all this stuff anyway she was so cute she's yeah. just like i'm just grateful i have people to do dishes for and that was always her statement and i was just like you know what wow she has just such an amazing attitude and such a heart of gratitude and she just gives constantly so thank you so much mama joy we love you so much anyway so now we're back at ceramic and that concludes kind of this week's episode yeah. so yeah, so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you were even able to make it through our <laughs> talking monotony speech. And <laughs> comment below. We'd like to see what you are thinking. Yes, we so. love to hear from you guys. See you next week.